vital, I'd say. Um, I think it's, it's gathered a lot of momentum over the years. Um, we come every year because we see a lot of value in it. We love talking to venues. Um, it used to be there's a kind of us and them thing because we represent artists and obviously venues are employers of artists and sometimes they don't, you know, things haven't gone right. But um, I think we've got to a, a stage with the help of this day and the MVT where we very much work together. Um, and it's quite collaborative, I think, our approach now. Funding, um, understanding, um, and support. I think support on all levels. Um, I think the money's a big thing um, because there's few venues, I think, that are comfortable. Um, so I think funding, um, but well spent funding um, with, you know, in the right areas. I think a lot of people are saying this, but I think that the top of the industry owes a lot to the grassroots part of the industry and I think it feeds a lot from it but I don't think it puts back and I think like you say there must be a way of getting some of these big acts to come back a bit more we I know um, Stephen Matt was talking about Billy Bragg playing in small venues and how much he sort of wants to get back to doing that a bit I think a lot of artists feel like that it's just they're not presented with that option perhaps through their management or representatives it's not that part of the industry isn't structured like that at the minute and I think it there's a lot of work that could be done so that it is yeah It's vital. I mean, everyone knows who he is, um, and there's a reason for that. You know, he's been doing it a long time. He knows the scene very well. He's on the scene. He doesn't just talk about it from a broadcasting perspective. He's actually out there going to gigs, um, and he champions people, and he, I guess, he sort of nurtures people. People listen to him. They learn from him, and he, he you know, he finds people, which is really important.